Hello everyone, my name is Ace the Artist, and today I will be teaching you a new way to make beautiful thick line art in the latest version of GIMP. So GIMP, for those of you who don't know, it is a free-to-use art program that sort of functions like Photoshop and has been around for a while. Personally, I like to use GIMP because I got really comfortable with it when I was younger and it's arguably gotten better over the years, especially because of this new feature I found in the path tool in GIMP 2.10. It honestly blew me away with how plain and crisp it made my lines look. So that's why we're here today, to show you how you can get nice, thick, clean lines in your artwork. But first, just to address the elephant in the room, I will be saying the word thick a lot in this video, and I already know the comment section is doomed to mean hell, so just get it out of your systems now so we can focus on the lesson at hand. I thought I'd just show the sketching process, even though it was kind of a last minute decision seeing as I had already started on the base before I decided to record it. But it's fine, it's still most of the sketching process business, and you can tell I drew everything from scratch. Also, even though I'm about to praise Gimp to the moon and back, my one complaint still is the fact that I can't rotate the screen freely, which does make the sketching process much more difficult in Gimp. Most of the time, I'll sketch something in Fire Alpaca, which is another great free art program I recommend if Gimp doesn't suit your style. I don't know as much about Fire Alpaca as I do GIMP, but maybe someday I'll do tutorials on Fire Alpaca too. It's also been a while since I've made a video like this, and I'm very eager to see if people want more, so please let me know in the comments if there's anything I can teach you. So now, I'm going to pass you along to Stick Ace who will do her best to explain the process, and if she gets anything wrong, don't worry, Feature Ace will be back shortly to correct their mistakes. Good evening everyone, or uh, day, night, whatever time you're watching this in. <laughs> um, it's Ace, and I just found out something really cool with the new GIMP 2.10, and I wanted to show you guys like a way to make thick line art like easily and quickly without much like a hassle um because this is actually pretty simple and it's free to use so um yeah we'll just get started here i sketched this before the video i'll probably like show a time lapse of it uh we're gonna start right here now if you're new to gimp completely uh i suggest you start somewhere else <laughs> Uh, for tutorial, but if you are already familiar with him and you know what the path tool is and how to use it, then we can just start right here. You're gonna want to just outline the sketch of your picture. Well, bear with me too. My voice is a little, uh, a little froggy right now. It's my allergies are driving me nuts. <laughs> well, it's alright, it should be good in a day or two, maybe, hopefully. <laughs> I want them to go away. It's just pollen, because it's still springtime. At least while I'm recording this. Alright. So. That's pretty much what you have to do. You have to outline what you want filled in, how you want your lines to be, you know, how thick you want it in each area. And now, normally, what people would do in this situation, they would go select from path, and then they would just fill it in like that. But, you can totally just take away a step from all that nonsense there. We're going to reselect our path again. It saves all your paths, by the way. I recommend having this like up to be used at any time. 
um, uh-oh. And I believe Gimp just crashed on me. Nope, nope, we're good. Sometimes it's what you get for clicking too many things at once. Alright, anyway, back to task at hand. Instead of just selecting and filling in with a bucket tool, you can just press fill path and fill and bam! Just like that. Nice clean lines. And theoretically, you could just keep kind of just... You can kind of just keep kind of doing this. Yeah, you can. You can <laughs> keep doing this. Pretty much until your whole picture is done. And I believe it kind of takes a lot less time than it does just to, like, select and then fill everything in. And boop, boop. And, I mean, it just looks nicer, too. I don't even need to... I wasn't using my tablet for any of that, by the way. Now I'm bringing out the pen so I can, like, smooth this out a little bit. Make it look nicer. You can make your lines pretty much as thick or thin as you want using this technique and, uh... Yeah, it just gives your lines, like, a kind of unique look to them. Honestly, recommend this if anyone likes to make their cartoons with, like, thick lines or just, like, just, like, thick line art in general. Honestly, I still think it's underrated. It's not enough, like, thick line mainstream cartoons. I'm saying the word thick a lot. I hope this video doesn't get memed out the fuck out of because of that. Alright, well... I think what we're going to do here is uh, speed everything up again, like I did with the sketch, and then I'll show you guys the finished product. So pretty much, what Sipface was trying to say, that this way of making line art has become a lot more simple to process than it was before, because the new fill path tool takes away a whole step from the process. I guess this isn't really a new trick, per se. It's more like an old trick made, you know, again. And you don't even have to make your lines as thick or thin as I did. You can do whatever fits your style or art piece better. This tutorial video is just to show you how to do the technique, and now you can apply it to your own art however you like. Really, Sikase did the best she could to explain the process, and it's not even that hard to follow along, even if you did get lost in my lucid ramblings. Now, I'm just gonna sit back and let the video play out, and sick me, we'll be back at the end of the video to see you guys off. There we go, we are officially done with our picture. Now, I will probably call this- I'll probably color this off camera and show you the end results in uh, the video, but yeah. Use this technique however you like, and honestly, I just hope you enjoyed the video. Um, haha, <laughs> whoops! Well, that will happen, just be careful. <laughs> See, even I make mistakes. That's alright. Yeah. 
patched all up. Perfect. It's like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Bye. Now then, I thought I'd just show the sketching process. <laughs>